So my usual morning routine is get up, get clean. <laughs> I do have a shower in my little motorhome and make a smoothie. I love having a smoothie in the morning before I start any kind of work online. It tends to energize me and also rehydrate me, which is really handy. So yeah, I'm I'm clean, I'm fueling myself up and then soon I shall start doing some work. I'll have a bit and do some dishes. Boy that water's hot. I have a little gas caliphon that heats the hot water for me. And yeah, depending on the weather outside depends on how actually hot it gets. <laughs> so in the middle of winter it's not that hot, but when the weather's warm outside it gets really hot so yeah this is really normal parts of life that everybody has apart from how it occurs is a little bit different i have a 12 volt pump and a tank underneath and the pump pumps it up to this gas telephone here which um heats the water through a heat exchanger type of, well the water goes through it and the gas flames heat the water up so it works really quite well that's the other part of my <coughs> power system there's two of these big black batteries that store my house power from the solar panel and that's the kind of gorgeous day it is isn't it beautiful very very bright and sunny and everybody's off to work <laughs> and here's I'm back inside I'm having a little bit of a clean up in my lovely little house before I start work so this is the inside and yeah it's quick to clean but it's also very very quick to make a big mess <laughs> so I shall do that there's so yeah and there's my inverter which runs my laptop all my electrical gear my blender it's a 3000 watt inverter so that it can actually run my blender and right now it's telling me that my batteries are pretty full so that is a good thing before it goes to the batteries it goes through these regulators this one's for my two smaller panels that i had first and that one's for my big panel and the little blinky light saying that basically the batteries are full so time to have a cup of tea before I start work and I wanted to talk about solar power because it's something I'm absolutely passionate about. Um, I'm not a great fan of noisy generators and things like that. I love the fact that that solar <coughs> on my roof <laughs> produces power. Even when it rains it produces a little bit, quite a bit less and if it rains for days yes I do need to top up my batteries with my little quiet generator I have it's it's pretty pretty quiet that one because I don't like noisy ones I think they're obnoxious so <laughs> yeah but I love the fact that on my roof right now my panels are creating electricity for me to be able to work and live and do all the things I want to do I think it's absolutely wonderful and I'd love to see the world go more towards utilizing those natural things like I mean it doesn't take anything away from the Sun the Sun will continue to produce light anyway whether it goes to a solar panel or a rock it doesn't matter um, it's still going to keep on producing Sun so it's a really brilliant way to power everything yes there are limitations like being plant-based you know a lot of people whose posts I read they have all sorts of big appliances like air fryers and things like that which I just can't run on my system but I can run my blender <laughs> so that's important so I can make my smoothies and I make my own hummus and I make quite a bit of my own food so in that blender so that is really yeah what matters to me it runs my laptop I can run my tiny little vacuum cleaner of it if I want to quite often I just sweep the floor though it's quicker and yeah so that's how that all works for me and yeah I love it I just love having free power it's excellent
So the specs for my solar really are, um, I've got about 480 watts of solar panels, which even if I wanted to get more at some point I'd run out of roof space. <laughs> so, you know, you can't, I can't go too overboard because I haven't got a humongous roof like a house has. Um, I've got about 450 amp hours of storage batteries. It's good to have them balanced with your solar panels so that they don't end up getting really run down. If you've run your storage batteries down too much, you um, end up wrecking them. They don't last as long, so it's better to keep them fairly healthy and to have a little bit more solar than batteries to keep everything topped up. So, yeah, that's a part of that. I'm currently sitting at my desk and <laughs> I've been just really annoyed. I was I just about finished a lady's reading and the whole lot disappeared. I'm so fed up with this Outlook email. I think I'm going to have to change it because it's doing some really random things. So that was my little talk about solar power and how I run all my electrical things and items in a tiny roadhouse. So if there's anything else you'd like me to do a video on about my life and traveling and living in a tiny house and minimalism, which you have to be doing that if you're living in a tiny house because you just can't be a hoarder and, and do this. So if there's anything you want to know about, comment down below. And also please subscribe and give my video a like if you don't mind. It'd be really lovely if you did that. I'm pretty new to this so I'm still trying to grow my channel and I'm still trying to figure out what exactly people would like to see because I want to make things that people enjoy. So have a beautiful day everyone and see you in my next one.